he had no idea what he was walking into at South London Southwark Cathedral this afternoon. He arrived with a message of hope. The economy is improving, security is better, and the dark days perhaps are finally gone. And from the pulpit, a simple direct message to Zimbabwean exiles across the UK. Come home. Let me, let me state here, and I'll state it boldly, that Zimbabweans must come home. That did it. Fury, laughter, chanting and bewilderment from a cathedral crammed for the occasion, standing room only. <laughs> Southwark can scarcely ever have borne witness to anything quite like this. An attempted question session with the Prime Minister made little headway. By now, many here were openly denouncing a man beaten up in the past by Robert Mugabe's thugs as a sellout himself. And we're not as a part of question. I'm worried about my fellow Zimbabweans. He is now in power and he's forgetting. He shouldn't forget. I used to be part of his security when he visited England in past years. I am totally convinced that this man, first, he doesn't know what he's talking about. Secondly, he has sold out. Inside, Morgan Changrai was hastily bundled away by a mixture of his own heavies from the Movement for Democratic Change and the police. Leaving the crowd to take over, quite literally, the pulpit and the cathedral. Outside, another Movement for Democratic Change, perhaps, lower case. And these people are certainly not going home anytime soon.